Whitney Houston, Michael Jackson, Anna Nicole Smith, celebrities who seemed to have everything found dead before their time. Each had abused prescription drugs at some point in their lives, which makes you wonder why would someone with fame, money and talent risk it all by popping pills? There's a lot of undiagnosed mental illness in the celebrity community because some of the things that you need to become a star, like narcissistic personality disorder, are in fact a requirement. And then once they attain all the fame and fortune and wealth and they wonder why they're still in pain, then they go to the next stage, which is to try to medicate it. It's not just celebrities who are doing it. A U.S. government study shows antidepressants are now the country's most commonly prescribed drugs, outstripping medicine used to treat headaches, high blood pressure, cholesterol, or asthma. It's gotten so bad, America's Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has classified it as an epidemic. So bad, drug abuse now kills more people than traffic accidents in the U.S., and it's catching people early. Nearly one third of young people abuse prescription drugs when they get high for the very first time. In the, in the 70s, the trend was cocaine. In the 80s, the trend was ecstasy and other club drugs. In the 90s, we had a surge of methamphetamine. And in the, from 2000 on to the present day, the real surge has been in prescription drugs. Part of the problem, the drugs are relatively easy to get hold of. America's medical system lets patients visit multiple doctors without any of them knowing what the other has already prescribed. Another problem, perception. The fact that these drugs are legal takes away the stigma that normally comes with abuse. The thing about prescription drugs is you could have a bag of heroin or a bag of cocaine in front of you. And people would be like, oh my God, oh my God, it's illegal, it's illegal, it's heroin, it's cocaine. But you could have a bottle, a prescription bottle with a doctor's name on it, right sitting in front of you, and everybody would be like, oh, oh, that's just their medication, that's fine, it's okay. That's a perception that some of America's best loved performers have paid for with their lives. Zane Vergy, CNN, London.